Hey, welcome to Color Up. Here's a couple of chips that I have from Deadwood, South Dakota. We got the Silverado, Cadillac Jacks, Mountain Grand. I believe I have some other ones, but these are the ones that I found quickly. But today we're going to look at a strategy that comes from South Dakota. It's part of our Dice Advice series, so someone submitted this. And uh, there's still a chance you could find $5 tables. So it is a $5 strategy, and while I'm going to explain it as he presented it to me, I'm gonna roll it out at a $10 table. As most of you know, that's pretty much the most common standard nowadays. So let's go ahead and see if we can color up. This is a pretty straightforward strategy. We're gonna start on the inside numbers. We're gonna cover the hard ways. Now I've actually changed my tune about hard way bets. If you keep them at just a dollar level, go ahead and check out my video about that. And then we're gonna press and collect. We're going to try to spread out on all the other numbers and that's it. So we're going to stick to place bets and some hard ways. We don't need any hot bets. If you're interested, this is a custom hot bet layout. I actually sell it in my store. So you can go to colorup.club and go to the store and find these. If you have a custom table that doesn't have a layout, you know, it's basically like a mouse pad material, roll it up, take it with you anywhere you want. If you need some <laughs> hot bets for your table, there it is. But we don't need that for now. Now he likes to call this strategy the inside blitz. So what you're going to do is wait for the point to be established. It really doesn't matter what it is. And then we're going to place the inside for 22 inside. Now I'm just going to show this at a $5 table, but I'm going to go ahead and roll it out at a $10 table. We're also going to cover all the hard ways with $4. We're not going to replace any of these. $4 is the maximum we're playing for hardways on the shooter. Now, if and when we do hit any hardways, we're just gonna use that money to funnel in on the six and eight. So we're just using these as tools, quick win, and then press up that six and eight. Now, anything else hits, what our goal with this strategy is to get all these numbers up to $30 level. And then once we have our inside at $30, then we'll go ahead and do the four and 10 at $20. But we're just gonna do an alternating press and collect. So any number that hits, let's say the nine hits, well, let's not do one that's the point. Let's say the five hits, we're gonna, we're gonna win seven. We're just gonna press that. So any number we're going to press and then collect. So the eight hits, we're gonna win seven. We'll go ahead and press that up to 12 and we collect a dollar. If we hit another number the second time, we're gonna collect. So. 10 is going to pay 14. We'll just collect that. We can hit, hit a number again. So let's say that number hits. We're going to win 14. We'll go ahead and press that. We could actually throw in a dollar and take it to 25, or we could just collect some ones and just take it to 20, however you want to do it. So we'll press and collect at any time we press, we just try to get a number to 30. If, you know, if we're on the pressing stage, we win 14 for our $12 bet here. Well, we can take this 25, we could take it right up to 30. And we've got our five pressed up. Again, our goal is to get all these numbers to 30, you know, the five hits, we get paid 35. Well, we can, we could just take the six straight up to 30 if we'd like and collect a little bit. Well, collect a little more. And now we got a $30 six. Once they're all at $30, we'll go ahead and change those out. Once we got them all to $30, at that point, anytime we take a hit, we can go ahead and buy the four and 10 for $20 each. And again, it's gonna depend on your casino, whether you pay the VIG up front or not, but we're going to, our next step is going to be to buy these numbers. Now it's gonna take a pretty good roll to get up to this position. So once you're here, you can ride it out. You know, you can make your decision to regress back down. You can really do whatever you want. Um, he didn't really say, so I'm going to assume we're riding out again. Will we see that in this little example video? I don't know. But for the $10 table, we're going to go ahead and double everything. So we're going to start with 44 inside. We're going to try to press them up to $60 on all of our bets. And then the four and 10, we'll, we'll buy them at 40. All right, we're going to assume someone else is shooting. Uh, if you do have to shoot or want to shoot, you need a line bet. So we're just going to think someone else is shooting. And here we go. See how it plays out. All right, three craps. Still looking for a point. Seven on the come out. Nine point is going to be nine. So we're out on that nine and then we could drop the dealer $50 and ask them to place the inside for 44. 
So we'll get six and change and set up here. $10 each and then $12, six and eight. And then we need, uh, we're gonna just, because we're doubling everything, we're gonna go ahead and double the hard ways. So let's go ahead and give the dealer 10 and ask him, to, let's do the hard ways for $2 each. So we'll get two and change and we could set those up for our player. And let's see if we can get a roll going here. Come on, shooter. Eight, eight easy. All right, 12 is going to pay 14. The very first thing we're gonna do is press. So let's take that up to 24 and we'll just rack the two. I did forget to take down my hard way. It came easy, so we do lose our eight and we are not going to replace any hard ways. So once we invest that, we're done for the shooter. All right, here we go. Three craps. Again, we don't care about that. Looking for inside number six, the easy way, six easy. So again, our hard way is gonna come down. It's not helping us out much here. And 12 is going to pay 14. Again, the first hit, we're going to press. So we're gonna take that up to 24. We're just racking two. All right, shooter, love to see another six and eight. Dice off the table, no roll. Took a funny bounce on me, that's all right. We have backups, five inside number. That's what we want to see. You know, we got wires and everything else in the way here. All right, 10 is going to pay 14. And it's going to be up to you if you want to throw in a dollar and take it to 25. Let's just go to 20 here. So again, we're going to press first. And we'll collect on the second one. All right, we're pressing them up. We're not collecting anything yet. Eight, there we go. So this time we'll collect. 24 is going to pay 28. I got a lot of ones. A player dropped me $2. And then I'm just going to pay you out 30 bucks there. So we got, we collected on our eight. Next time we'll press. Four, easy four. Again, we knocked down another hard way. They have not helped us out this hand. But that's again, we're not going to invest too much on them. Eight, there we go. Love to see it. All right, 24 is going to pay 28, and we're gonna go ahead and press this time. So let's go ahead and we'll get four and change. And we'll take this up to $48 bet. And see where we're going after that. All right, let's keep the eights rolling. Six, or the six, any inside number we'll be happy with. So 24 is good. We're going to collect this time. 24 is going to pay 28. Let's go ahead and get two from the player, which is the change. Ah, so we're going to pay out 30 for two. Just get rid of some of these ones here. And the next time we'll press. All right, so we're collecting a little bit, and I think we've, uh, we've collected 60, so we're actually got a profit on this shooter, and we're in good shape. Five, Viva five. All right, 20 is going to pay 28. And last time I believe we pressed, so this time we'll just collect. Um, really up to you if you forget. What I'm, th what I'm saying is if you forget, well, did I press, did I collect? Doesn't really matter, just make a decision. If you wanna collect, collect it. If you wanna press it, press it. But I'm pretty sure we pressed it last time. So let's go ahead and rack another green and we'll be happy to do that. It's never a bad thing to collect, but it, this is, we're trying to press them up so we can uh, take advantage of pressed up bets, but we'll see what happens here. Here we go. Two aces. It's not gonna help us out any. Looking for that inside blitz. There's that five. So this is, we're, we're in great shape so far. So 20 is gonna pay 28. Let's go ahead and press that five. So it's gonna go to 45. We rack a couple pennies. And we're in good shape. All right, here we go. And seven. So it's going to come to an end, but it's okay. We did pull some back, so we got a profit on the shooter. And we were really starting to build our bets up to start making some good money. All right, so everything comes down. Puck is going to come off, and we're going to have a new shooter. All right, let's go ahead and let him get a... Get a point established for our new shooter. Five is gonna be our point. 
All right, let's drop 50. Well, we could probably, we have enough change here. 10, 20, 30, 40, 44. Baylor, give me the inside. All right. And then let's go ahead and get the hardways, throw in $8 for the hardways. Didn't help us last time, but maybe this time. Minimal investment over there. And here we go. Let's see if we can see some inside blitz. Six, we're off to a good start. 12 is going to pay 14, and we're just gonna, first thing right out of the gate, just press it. So we're gonna go to 24, rack a couple pennies. Six, back to back, love to see that. 24 is gonna pay 28. Deal, uh, player dropped me two bucks and I'm gonna pay you 30 for two. All right. So we pressed, collect. Next time we'll press. Oh, I did forget. Um, what did we roll a six first time? I don't think it was a hard way, so that should have came down. All right, here we go. That's gonna be dropped. Drop and call an eight. Get it off the bad number there. So how that works is if you move the obstruction, whichever way the dice would fall, that's how the call is made. So it was an easy eight, so we'll take down the hard way. 12 is going to pay 14. First thing we're gonna do is press it up. So we'll take that to $24 and just collect two bucks there. And here we go. 12, that doesn't help us. Looking for hard ways or inside. Eight, eight easy. We pressed it. This time we're going to collect. Again, there's a bunch of whites, so I'm gonna pay out 30 for two because it's a $28 payout. Most of the time I think they're just gonna pay you out 28 this way. Just, you got plenty of uh, singles there to tip, which is always, Always tip your dealers. So these are both in, uh, we've collected from both of them, which means we've got our money out for the shooter. So we got a profit locked in for the shooter. And now we're gonna, we're not gonna do anything because there's the seven. All right, but that's okay. We, we didn't get hurt by it. We got our numbers pressed up and two hits. So we got our money out of it for that particular shooter anyway. Go ahead and give it another try. And here we go, coming out, looking for a point. Seven on the come out, let's get them out of the way. Seven, back to back, if you're playing the front line, are you pressing them, what are you doing down there? Dice off the table, no roll, I can grab that one. It's within reach. All right, here we go. Five, we got a point of five. So mark that and we'll go ahead Drop the dealer 50 and let's go ahead and get six and change. Get the inside placed. Maybe. Okay. There we go. And we have, we'll go ahead and give the dealer $8 to get our hard ways covered. Ah, there we go. Let's see if we can roll some numbers now. All right, here we go. Nine. I think that's the first time we've rolled that nine. So 10 is going to pay 14. The very first time we're going to press it. Again, do you want to throw in a dollar or you want to just take it to 20? It's kind of up to you. Let's just throw in a dollar this time. So basically a little power press. So we'll get that up to a quarter. If we hit it again, we'll collect. 10, the hard way, we finally hit a hard way. We don't have the 10 here, but we do have it here. So it's gonna pay 14. So we'll pay out 14 and let's go ahead and keep two and we'll take this, we'll take the six up to 24. All right. Yo, 11, it doesn't affect our strategy here today. 10, the easy way. That's gonna bring down our hard way. It's all right, it already did well for us so far. Six, easy. 24 is going to pay 28. Now last time, 
we technically have already pressed it from the hard way, so this time we'll just collect. So let's go ahead and get that green off the table and into our rack. Let's clean this up a little bit. All right, shooter, here we go. And it was a hard way, and there's the seven. So the hard way, I was gonna come down, but now everything's actually coming down. So I think we lost a little bit on that particular shooter. So we didn't collect twice. So the puck's gonna come off, and we're gonna have a new shooter. So we'll go ahead and give this a try. Uh, we'll give it a try one more time. All right, starting off with a seven. Here we go for all you dice setters out there. Nine point of nine. Again, we'll drop 50. Uh, we'll go ahead and drop 54 to the dealer. We'll get 10 and change, and then we'll get set up here. Use these ones. And then we're going to go ahead and drop eight to the dealer, the stick to get our hard ways. Two, four, six, and eight. And let's see if we can roll some inside numbers. Here we go, shooter. Yo, 11. Eight, easy eight. So down comes our hard way. 12 is going to pay 14. And we'll just go ahead and immediately press that up to 24 and just rack $2. And again, we're not, we're not going to play anymore on the hard way for the easy way, or I'm sorry, the hard way. So that's going to be a winner for us. So our $2 bet is going to pay 14. So we'll go ahead, pay out 14 and we're going to, we'll go ahead and use that to press our six to 24. So both those are in a position to collect next time. So let's roll one back and get some money out of the shooter. Two aces, also a hard way, but not uh, an all day hard way. It's just a one roll bet if you want the horn, uh, horn numbers. Eight, easy eight. I've already lost it there. 24 is gonna pay 28. This time we're just going to collect. Get our money out of this shooter. Meanwhile, we're building our bets up to a good place. 10, 10 the easy way. So down comes a hard way and we're not on the 10. Let's bring it inside a little bit. Nine point is hit. I think that's the first point of the day. So 10 is going to pay 14 and we'll go ahead and press that up again. What do you want to do? You can just go to 20. We'll throw in a dollar, take it to 25. Our puck's going to go off. Our bets are off for the come out roll. And here we go. Let's go ahead and get a point established. It's going to go right back on that nine. Wish we had our bets working, but I typically don't. I'll follow the puck normally. All right, here we go. Now, let's see, what do we want to do? Press them all up. We want to collect. I may have collected on one of those, but in my book, you can never collect too much if you hit them. So. I'm not too worried about it. All right, eight easy. So 24 is gonna pay 28. And again, I can't remember. So I'm just gonna make a decision. I'm gonna collect. I love collecting some, pulling back some green. So I know next time if I hit that eight. Now you could do it per, I'm doing it per number. Maybe in your mind it makes it easier. You could do it per um, every single roll. So no matter what rolls I would collect it just depends. So I don't know how you want to do it. If you're kind of following a trend of, you know, hot numbers or, um, no matter what. So again, if, if I were to collect on this next hand and I roll a five, I'm only going to get paid 14. So, uh, it's just kind of a decision you got to make. All right, here we go. Six easy six. For instance, this might, this is going to pay out 28. But this might be a situation where, uh, you know, I collected on the eight, so I should press the next one or, you know, the last time I pressed the six, so I should collect this time. I don't know. I know last time I collected on the eight, let's go ahead and press that six. So let's go ahead and take it to 48. 
and see what we could do there. So basically we're, we've pressed that one up. Uh, hard way comes down. All right, those haven't really paid off for us. Well, once or twice, I guess they did. Six the hard way, we just missed it by one roll. So 48 is going to pay 56. We press it last time, we'll definitely collect it this time. Even though it was the same number, hopefully I didn't confuse you with that diatribe. But again, we're just pressing and collecting. If you forget, just, just do whatever you want, you know? Whatever you're most comfortable with. There's no right or wrong way to do it. It's just gonna depend on what rolls next. Two aces. Five, we haven't hit the five before. So 10 is going to pay 14. On the first hit on that five, I am going to go ahead and press it. We'll, we'll do like we did with the nine. We're going to throw in a dollar and actually press it to 25. So we're investing a tiny bit more, but we already collected a big hit off the six. So our bets are paid for. All right, shooter, let's see what happens. Eight, eight easy. 24 is going to pay 28. Let's go ahead and press this up to 48. Take back a couple pennies. And now we'd love to see six and eight shooter. Nine, we'll take the nine, that's the point hit. So 25 is gonna pay 35. I know last time we pressed it, so we can collect this time. And you can always vary things up. So I racked a green, but you know what? We can always go like this and take our five and nine to 30, something like that. Puck is gonna go off. So any of these strategies I show, you can always kind of, you know, tweak them just here and there, variations if you'd like. Just depend on how the roll's going and how comfortable you are. So four, easy. We're gonna knock down our hard way and that's gonna be the point. Remember, we're trying to get these up to the $60 level and then we'll buy the outsides. And we're pretty close, so here we go. Let's get this roll going a little bit longer. Six, easy six. All right, 48 is going to pay 56. Dealer, go ahead and make my six look like 60. So we're gonna press it up, 50, 60. And actually we got some money left here. So what are we at, 48 here? We can get them both up to $60. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll have a $60, six and eight, and 10, 25, about 30 bucks. Um, it was a press move. We'll just, we'll just rack some of this. Try to get another hit. All right, so we got the six and eight to 60. These guys are at 30, so um, we pressed, next time we're gonna collect, and then we're trying to go ahead and get the five and nine up to 60. All right, here we go. Remember, this is at the $10 level. At the $5 level, we would do 30s. All right, nine, 30 is going to pay 35. No, that's on the six and eight. 30 is going to pay 42, so 42, there we go. Again, I believe last time I pressed, and I don't remember what I did with the nine, but I know the last hit I got, I pressed. So, you know what, this one I'm just gonna go ahead and rack. Again, my book, it never hurts to rack. And next time we'll press no matter what number we roll. All right, looking for an inside number. Not gonna happen, there's the seven. So we got these pressed up pretty good, but we also pulled plenty back. So this is all gonna come down. We'll go ahead and count up where we're at after just a couple shooters and see if our inside blitz worked out. All right, let's start with the greens. Two, five, so there's our buy-in. So we did make a profit. So five, 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 eight, 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 So we can go ahead and color up. Let's go ahead and grab a purple. Two chips, 701. So there we go. The inside blitz worked out. If you can press them up and get two scores, you pay for the shooter. And after that, you know, pressing and collecting. Again, you got to roll some inside numbers. Hardways helped us out minimally, but you know, it's there. Kind of covers some four and 10 a little bit. 
But there you go. Next time you're in South Dakota, especially Deadwood, check out Mount Rushmore like I did. And it's a pretty cool gambling town. And they probably have a $5 table, so you can kind of decrease this back down if you'd like and just go 22 inside. But today, it worked out for us even at a $10 table. So tell me what you think down in the comments. Until next time, good luck on coloring up. Oh, wow.